Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the best designer fragrances in my collection. <laughs> But these are the best designer fragrances in my collection. Now, I love all of my fragrances. I feel like I always have to put that disclaimer out because they're listening to me and I don't want anybody getting mad. So they're all amazing. But I just wanted to highlight 11 of the ones that I feel like you guys would love. If you're starting a collection. These are designer fragrances that you need in your collection. Not all, you know, but at least one or two. You know, these are beautiful fragrances. In my opinion, they're not basic. They have amazing performance, except for one of them. One of them doesn't have the best performance, but the scent is amazing. It's not bad, but it could be better. You know what I mean? But I love it. I do layer with this one as well, because that one comes with a shower gel and a lotion, you know, what have you. So if you want to know about these 11 fragrances that I deem to be the best designer fragrances in my collection, then just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the red subscribe button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. So the first fragrance on the list is by Tom Ford and this is Noir Pour Femme. Guys, this fragrance should be in everyone's collection. It's a beautiful fragrance from Tom Ford's signature collection and the quality is amazing. I don't know what it is about the signature collection and the private line, but the signature collection just has more staying power to me in my opinion. Although the fragrances in the private line are beautiful, but this has the best performance on me guys. I love this fragrance. It's creamy, it's vanilla, it's spicy, it's sexy, it's date night. It's an amazing fragrance that you need to have in your collection. The notes are mandarin, there's bitter orange, there's ginger, there's rose absolute, there's jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's uh, vanilla, there's amber, there's sandalwood. It's a designer fragrance that you can buy at Macy's that does not smell like a typical generic designer fragrance. It smells very unique to me. It smells exotic. I mean, in my opinion, it's groundbreaking because I absolutely love this fragrance. It's different smelling. You know, a lot of people don't really speak about this fragrance, but this is a must have for me. I love it. I love the packaging. You know, the bottle is beautiful. A few of you have suggested um, Noir de, was it Noir de Noir? Another one of the Noirs and I've smelled it, but they're all very similar. When this is done, I'll probably revisit that one, but this is definitely one that will always be in my collection. It's one of the best designer fragrances guys hands down tom ford noir parfum next up we have this woody spicy earthy fragrance by armani c <laughs> another beautiful designer gem it's so feminine but it's very different i purchased this fragrance like two years ago and i bought it took it home and was just like going back and forth with it because i didn't understand it <laughs> i didn't understand it i loved the dry down but the opening was just a little different to me i bought it from macy's i returned it then i got a sample from like another purchase that i had and i kept smelling it and loving it from the opening to the dry down so i went back and had to repurchase this fragrance guys this is everything it's a beautiful scent when i tell you that i get so many compliments on this fragrance people love this fragrance right here guys now in my opinion this has better performance than the one in the red bottle that one is very pretty as well and i had like a deluxe sample of that one i believe the sample was like this big like it was huge and i used it because the scent was so pretty this right here this and c fiori are beautiful fragrances from the armani c line guys let me tell you the notes it opens up with bergamot, there's mandarin, there's black currant liqueur, there's neroli, there's jasmine, there's freesia, patchouli, there's some woody notes, there's amber and vanilla. Guys, it's a boozy, sexy, pretty girl feminine fragrance. The majority of fragrances on this list are, you know, feminine fragrances, except for, mm, you yeah, know, the majority are feminine fragrances. But I mean, designer fragrances are known for doing beautiful, feminine fragrances you know there's no question of whether it's unisex or not so if you love beautiful feminine fragrances 
that smell different and unique, Mani C should definitely be in your collection. Next up, we have Mon Guerlain, and this is my third bottle, like, in life. So I had the smaller sizes, like, I had two of them, I don't know if you guys remember. So I went through two of the smaller sizes, like, literally in no time. So I decided to purchase the large one, which I don't typically like to do, but I did get this big bottle because, I mean, I wear it all the time. I don't speak about it a lot, but I definitely wear this fragrance all the time. Another highly complimented fragrance in my collection. This fragrance is the epitome of a classy, sophisticated woman. And also Although she's really classy and sophisticated, oh, she could get it and she can get down too. And men love this fragrance. Bay loves this fragrance on me. It's so beautiful. This fragrance is also a versatile scent because in my opinion, you can wear it all year round. You can also wear it in various settings. This can be a date night fragrance. Yes, to me, she can be worn on a date night. It depends on the date. Like every date isn't... <laughs> I gotta keep, I gotta keep telling y'all. Wear it to brunch, you can wear it to church, you can wear it to work, you can wear it to school, you can wear it to the mall. It's just one of those fragrances that would be a great signature scent. If you're a signature scent type of person, then this is a great signature scent to have. You wanna be known by a fragrance like this. Now, this doesn't have the best performance on me, but it's not the worst. I wish it was better because I definitely love the scent of this. But I have the shower gel and I also have the body cream. The shower gel is in my bathroom and this is the body cream and I have like the hand creams to this. Like Mon Guerlain can definitely get it. This smells amazing. Layer, like I said, with the shower gel and the body cream and you will get your whole entire life. When I tell you that lavender note on the warm and spicy, mm, it's so beautiful. It's like warm, spicy and fresh all at the same time. I love it. It's definitely a designer gem. Do not pass up on this one, guys. Mon Guerlain. Next up, we have by Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc. And guys, this is obviously not a fall fragrance, but this isn't a fall video. This is just the best designer fragrances in my collection, period. <laughs> you know, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Because you can wear whatever you want to wear when you want to wear it. And you may be in a hot climate watching this, or you may be headed to vacation. So this is summer in a bottle, vacation in a bottle. It's a beautiful nutty creamy coconutty fragrance i absolutely love and adore this this will always be repurchased i also have my backup bottle waiting because that's how serious it is for soleil blanc and i have my shimmer oil this is my second bottle of my shimmer oil and i had actually the funny thing is i was wearing that oil before i had the fragrance because it's just a beautiful shimmer oil it does you know, wonders to your skin in the summertime or on vacation, yes. I don't have any performance issues with this fragrance. Again, I layer, what do I layer this with? It's either like a coconut cream from the body shop or maybe like the coconut from Bath and Body Works. It's some type of coconut cream, girl. And there's no coconut in this fragrance. It's Coco de Mer, which takes on that coconut accord. There's also pistachio in this fragrance. Um, so it opens up with bergamot, there's cardamom oil, there's pistachio, there's ylang ylang, there's benzoin, and there's Coco de Mer. Like I said, it's vacation and summer in a bottle. I love it. Everyone should have this in their collection. Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. So if you know this channel, you know that my good girlfriend Narciso Rodriguez for her was going to be on this list. Absolutely. Guys, this fragrance is everything. I love this musky scent. It's literally addictive to me. In my opinion, it smells unique. It smells different. It's musk, but it's musk done in the Narciso Rodriguez way. And I'm addicted to that scent. I absolutely love it. This opens up with rose. There's peach. There's musk, there's orange blossom, and it, no, it doesn't smell like love, don't be shy. There's osmanthus, there's vetiver, there's amber, and vanilla. Long lasting on my skin, no performance issues. This performs like a beast on me. I get compliments on this fragrance, guys, all the time. Seriously, men love this fragrance, Bay loves this fragrance. I love this powdery, musky nature, but then you also smell the rose, but it's not as rosy as the floor musk which I have that, and I was kind of struggling between those two because that Floor Musk is, she's really good. Like seriously, all of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances are amazing. I did a collection video um, about a few months ago. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it in the description box. But guys, you cannot go wrong with Narciso Rodriguez. 
And to add to the allure of this fragrance, the perfumer is Francis Kirkjohn. Guys, I didn't know anything about perfumers before, I wanna say 2019 is when I started to like really read Fragrantica and learn about perfumers and you know, all the things. And when I realized that the majority of designer fragrances that I have in my collection, that's his nose. I mean, seriously, how could you not love Francis Kirkjohn? And I'm sure you guys know, if you don't know, um, he's now the creative director of um, Dior fragrances. So he'll be producing some Dior fragrances. And I'm so excited, guys, because I'm waiting to buy my next Dior Privé fragrance of you know his release, because I know it's going to be fire. I'm so waiting for that because the Dior fragrances, like seriously, the DNA is too strong. They needed to freshen it up and add a new perfumer because it's been the same perfumer for years and everything started to smell alike to me. So I, although I love the ones that I have in my collection, but anywho, how did we start talking about Dior? Beautiful designer fragrance for her by Narciso Rodriguez. Next up, we have this boozy vanilla fragrance, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Guys, I think my third or fourth YouTube video ever was a dedicated review to this fragrance. This fragrance is everything. Another designer gem that everyone should have in their collection. I've been wearing this fragrance for the past two years now and I absolutely love it and this will always be a repurchase. That's why I have this big kajunk junk bottle. This was purchased in a gift set so I have the body cream to go with it. Like a little small bottle guys. I don't think they sell the cream separate but once that's done, I'm just gonna layer with my Eucerin, just an uncensored cream, because this does not have bad performance on my skin. This has great performance on me. This opens up with black currant, there's um, bergamot essence, there's jasmine absolute, there's jasmine sandback, there's jasmine tea, there's bourbon vanilla and wood essence. Again, for me, it's a spicy, boozy vanilla that I absolutely love. It's an amazing scent. You can wear this out with your girls. You can wear this to work. You can wear this on a date. Another one that could be signature scent worthy. You know what I mean? So if you love vanilla, you need Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Next on the list, we have Twilly de Hermes by Hermes. Your ginger, sandalwood, tuberose fragrance. Guys, this is everything. To me, this smells unique. It does not smell cheap. It does not smell basic. It does not smell generic. The performance on this fragrance is excellent, guys. Excellent. When I tell you, this is one of my longest lasting fragrances, period. Whether it's designer or niche. Like, I put this on at the beginning of the day. You will still smell it, like, 10, 12 hours later. This goes nowhere on my skin. If you have this fragrance and you have poor performance issues, please leave it in the comments and let me know what's your experience with this fragrance. But for me, guys, this is a very long lasting fragrance. I also have the shower gel, but it's, it's like a cream. It's like a shower cream. I have the body lotion and the hand lotion. Listen, Twilly is everything. I absolutely love how this smells. I haven't worn it in a while, to be honest with you, because it is tied to a sad memory, but I'm starting to get over it and I'm starting to sniff it more because I love this fragrance. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It's one of my for life fragrances, whether it's designer, niche, period, like Twilly will always be on the list and everyone should have this in their collection if you want something different and unique and feminine and spicy. It's just good all around, guys. Twilly the Hermes. Hey girl, can you act like you got some perfume? Like, act like you got perfume. Why is this always in the video? But I mean, guys, it is what it is. This video is about the best designer fragrances and this is one of the best designer fragrances, period. In my opinion, it's a classic, timeless. I don't think this will ever go out of style. It suits a young person. I think it fits a middle age or an older person. Like, I think this fits everyone. Definitely a feminine female fragrance. Definitely a man pleaser, man getter, date night, sensual, sultry, Netflix and chill, you know what I mean, sexy time. It's gonna stay on you the whole time. It's not too loud and offensive. It's a beautiful, addictive gourmand. It's that almond note for me. It's so beautiful, guys. It opens up with coconut, there's plum, there's apricot, there's rose, there's jasmine, there's tuberose, there's vanilla, there's sandalwood, there's musk. Like I said, it's intoxicating, guys. To me, Hypnotic Poison is intoxicating. It's hypnotic. Like seriously, I love this fragrance and I will always have it in my collection and it is definitely a designer gem. If you want to put it on him, if you want to please him, trust me, he will love Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Next up, we have Fever by Jimmy Choo. Guys, this fragrance is everything. <laughs> it's considered a hot floral fragrance. It's so super sweet. It doesn't smell like a generic designer fragrance. Now, if you're familiar with the original Jimmy Choo, 
it has that DNA, like you smell it in the background. This to me is so much better, guys. And I used to wear that fragrance. Now I can't even stomach it. Like I don't wanna smell that fragrance. But this right here is amazing. This has, um, there's plum, it opens up with plum. There's lychee, there's grapefruit. It's so super fruity. There's heliotrope, which takes on that almondy type of accord. There's benzoin, there's sandalwood, and there's tonka bean. Guys, this to me smells like niche in a bottle. Like it's niche in a Jimmy Choo bottle. This smells so different. If you package this up in like a Parfum Zamarli bottle, people will be going crazy over this fragrance. I don't hear many people talking about it, but I absolutely love it. It's a staple of my collection. If you're in Macy's or you're looking for a designer fragrance, do not pass this one up, guys. You will love it. Jimmy Choo Fever. Next up on the list, we have Gucci Guilty. And guys, <laughs> look at this. This fragrance is everything. Like I use this fragrance like, I mean, I just love spraying it. I spray it, I overspray this fragrance so much because literally when I spray, I can't stop spraying because it smells that good to me. It's so delicious to me, but it's not like delicious in a gourmand type of way. It just smells really good. It smells like um, Byredo Rose of No Man's Land. Like they're definitely very similar because I actually use my Rose of No Man's Land cream. Is it right? It's actually right here. So I use my Rose of No Man's Land cream to layer with this fragrance. And I don't have any issues with this fragrance. To me, this is the best Gucci fragrance. I love my Gucci Bloom and I have two flankers of the Gucci Bloom as well. So I own three in the Gucci Bloom line and I do love that fragrance. I love my Gucci Guilty. I don't wear it, but Babe purchased it for me. So I do have it. Um, I also love my um, Gucci Rush, which I don't really wear anymore because now I have Clive Christian um, X and that's very similar. But in my opinion, this Gucci Guilty Absolute is the best Gucci fragrance. Like hands down, it smells very expensive. It smells like a niche brand fragrance. It smells different. It's definitely a unique fragrance to me. It almost smells a little boozy to my nose. Guys, I love this fragrance. Compliments all the time on this fragrance. Definitely an amazing fragrance. Do not pass this one up. Gucci Guilty Absolute. Last but not least, we have Vinnie Fatale by Tom Ford. Guys, people are always singing the praises of Tobacco Vinnie. And that is a really nice fragrance. Bay has that fragrance. For me, it's all about the Vinnie Fatale. Tobacco Vinnie is good, it is nice, but for me, on me, to me, it may lean a little bit more masculine. I think it smells really good on him. Now, this right here, this is a super sexy, sweet, spicy vanilla fragrance. Guys, if you haven't tried Vinny Fatale, please try Vinny Fatale. In my opinion, Vinny Fatale is a feminine version of Tobacco Vinny. If you love a sweet vanilla, you will love this. This is a sweet vanilla, but it's so super spicy at the same time. It is amazing. And it also has a little hint of smoke. Guys, this fragrance is everything. Let me tell you, so it opens up with saffron, there's coriander, there's frangipani, there's narcissus, there's coffee absolute, there's mahogany, roasted barley, there's vanilla, myrrh, and olibanum. Guys, it's a beautiful fragrance. Smoky, spicy, sweet vanilla. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. And it lasts forever on me. It projects super far on me. Let me tell you, I'm definitely eating crow on Tom Ford because I remember I used to say, I'm not a Tom Ford chick. And you know, I did have a couple of Tom Ford fragrances, but I was like, I couldn't get with Tom Ford because a lot of his fragrances were so different to me that people would suggest and I would smell them and I would just be like, no, like this is just not for me. I wanna smell pretty. I wanna smell feminine. I wanna smell sexy. And for me, you know, that's, you know, a lot of the fragrances that he had that people would suggest to me, it did not smell like that on me, like oud wood. Someone suggested that to me. It smells good, but not for me. I like smelling like a woman. I like smelling feminine, but still with depth, still strong. You know what I mean? Still unique, still different. But I do like smelling like a feminine woman. And my man, he loves that type of feminine scent. Like he doesn't want us wearing the same fragrance. Like that's not sexy to him if me and him are wearing the same fragrance. Like, mm, that's, that's not, that's no bueno. I want to smell like a super sweet, sexy, feminine woman. And Vinnie Fatale for me is like that. I said, no performance issues. It's the private line, but it's a little bit more, it's a little less than like say Lost Cherry or Rose Prick definitely a beautiful fragrance if this is ever getting discontinued no joke i'm buying like two more bottles like two backup bottles of this because that's how good it is this is sweater weather perfect for the fall 
perfect for a date night. Definitely a statement maker. Definitely a unique scent that is beautiful that every woman should have in their collection. I love it, love it, love it. Vini Fatale by Tom Ford. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video and those were my 11 best designer fragrances in my collection. Although, I feel like all the designer fragrances in my collection are bomb. Like they're all tens, but you know, for the sake of the video, I had to just choose 11. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your best designer fragrances? What are some designer fragrances that you can't live without? Although this list wasn't a for life list, but you know, I will get that out to you. These to me are just designer all-stars. So let me know what are your designer all-stars in your collection and we'll talk about it like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.